welcome in this uh, digital event in partnership with uh, Jewa with Omnes. So thanks Jewa with Omnes. My name is Pauline Solvagner. I'm product manager for our new very high resolution satellite constellation, Pleiades Neo. Nice to meet you and thank you for attending this presentation. And I'm with my expert colleague uh, Laurent today. Hello everybody, I am Laurent Gabé. I am heading the R&D team in Airbus uh, Geo. So I'm very glad to be here with you today to go through Playan Neo and his application for uh, my time. So let's start. Let's start. So I don't know where you where you live. I think you are in the four corner of the world. Uh, but here uh, in Toulouse, the weather is quite good, but I could I think it could be even better. So I suggest to go further away uh, on a trip to make a good start of this event. So now we are in Bora Bora, thanks to Pleiades Neo. You can choose your bungalow or your favorite place uh, on the beach. And uh, if you don't find uh, anything you like, uh, that's okay. Uh, let's go somewhere else. So now we just uh, landed in the Bahamas, thanks to 30 centimeters uh, imagery with uh, high accuracy. So you can clearly observe all the seabeds, the clarity of the water, the vegetation around. And uh, this is Pleiades Neo. So before going, um, into uh, more details about Pleiades Neo. I think you are now uh, asking yourself, but uh, why Airbus in the water? Uh, Airbus is rather in the air. So maybe Laurent, uh, you are working for Airbus longer than me, so you can uh, give us a quick overview about uh, Airbus activities. So sure, yes, after those very nice pictures, uh, images, let's have a look to an ugly one. In <laughs> fact, it's a friend of mine, 30 years ago, uh, we, we started the adventure of a satellite uh, Earth observation satellite constellation. So now, 30 years later, we, are, we have our 10th uh, generation of satellites with Playa Neo. So this is, it's, let's start for this Playa Neo story. So as we speak on this uh, Thursday, 24 March, uh, all our satellites are in orbit, observing the Earth and delivering continuous images. So at this point, we are able to offer multi-sensor, multi-resolution and multi-data source. So maybe Laurent, you can uh, explain to us what the, the benefits of having uh, different sensor in the uh, optical and right outside. Yes, we, we can do that through, uh, through the, those images. So um, on the left side, uh, we, we have uh, one, one set of satellites of our constellation. We have spot, spot six and seven. They are uh, shooting uh, the Earth at uh, 60 kilometers by 60 kilometers. You, you can see, I guess you have recognized the, the, the Beijing Stadium. So that's what you can see. It's a very nice sensor to have an overview. But then you are always interested. You, it's nice the overview, but you want to zoom in. So you can zoom in with Pleiad at 50 centimeters. And now, thanks to Pleiad Neo, you can zoom in and see all the details of the stadium. You can even see that the, the people walking, walking inside. So that, that's a, a, an incredible thing. And so this constellation is really made for you, really made to, to have a different point of view. And on the top of that, to look through, through the clouds for specific events, we have also um, a, a, a radar constellation. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline. So, but about uh, Airbus Constellation, it's uh, only the beginning of our journey because this year, in uh, 2022, we will launch the two last Pleiades Neo. So what about Pleiades Neo? Uh, Pleiades Neo is uh, already a reality because we have uh, Pleiades Neo 3 and 4 already in orbit, delivering images and observing the, the Earth. They are 100% operational and commercially available. And uh, what about the full constellation? So it will be a constellation of four satellites. It's the first uh, European 30 centimeters constellation. And it's uh, entirely uh, designed, manufactured, owned and operated by Airbus. So let's have a look uh, about the benefits and technical capabilities. So here we are in Singapore with uh, Pleiades Neo at 30 centimeters. You can uh, clearly observe the lines on the world, the cars, the windows of the boat and uh, all the details of the vegetation. So maybe Laurent, uh, what about the technical capabilities and uh, 
Yes, in fact, you already told, <laughs> gave them, but the one key capability for Playa Neo is really the 30 centimeter. It's uh, the best in class satellite in, in the world for the, uh, the civilian market. So, uh, thanks to those 30 centimeters, you can see all the details. And, and you see here in the boats that that's incredible. You, you can with, uh, we, you can even look at, uh, see the name of the, of the boat. And another advantage of uh, this constellation is also the accuracy. You see the cross uh, on the airboard here. So, you can locate this corner at 3.5 meters, C90, uh, wherever you are in the world. So, that, that's, that's that's very neat in order to for the mapping for all the uh, application uh, looking for information. Yes, for sure. So maybe I let you. Ah, know. yes. Okay, <laughs> still my turn. Okay. Uh, uh, the other points uh, for Playa Neo is the bands. Uh, our standard constellation uh, got four bands, and, and uh, we, we added uh, two new bands uh, the red edge and the deep blue, which are very, very good for uh, the red edge that you see. It's uh, the orange color in the middle, so there was a hole. And the red edge is very good for, for agriculture surveying, for characterizing the, 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 the vegetation. So that's, that's not the subject of the day, so we will organize another meetup maybe. But let's let's look on the left side. So on the left side, we added the deep blue, and as you can see with the curve, the deep blue is very good for uh, looking through the water, analyzing the uh, humidity. So that, that's very uh, neat to get those two uh, bands uh, on the top of the other ones. So let's go for uh, uh, an example. Uh, 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 the, the colleagues will, will introduce more details. The bathymetry, that's what we are looking currently. So this image uh, is um, a mapping of the, the relief below below the, the sea level. So when the yellow uh, the yellow marks represent the yellow color represent the the the, the sand bed, and when it's red, it represents uh, the rocks that are just at the uh, the, the level of, of the, the water. So thanks to Playa Neo, you, you, can, you can do this mapping here. We, we overlap with an existing map. And through the color, you can see that it's matching with, uh, with the, the relief that we got in the map. So a very, very cool uh, sensor to, to update uh, the, mat the mapping of bathymetry. I, I have to speed up a little bit. So th this is about uh, another application for using, uh, taking benefit of the, the bands, deep, deep blue. So on the left side, you have the image, which is acquired by Playa Neo, and you can see it's a little bit affected by the fog. And on the right side, thanks to all the bands that we have, you can modelize the atmosphere, that's what we do, and you can remove the, the fog to get this uh, neat, neat image. So now you know some information, but uh, we haven't told you uh, everything yet, I think. About the revisit, so um, each um, Pleiad Neo is able to make a revisit at least twice a day. So you can be sure that every day within the same time window, a Pleiad Neo will fly over your area of interest. Concerning the coverage capacity, uh, each Pleiad Neo is able to acquire five, uh, 500,000 square kilometer each day. So it's like the France area. So the full constellation will be uh, able to across 2 million square kilometers, it's like the Mexico. And uh, concerning the tasking and reactivity, we have two new technologies. So last minute tasking and the reactivity is fully operational and uh, very uh, beneficial. So maybe Laurent, what about the, the future application thanks to all these capabilities? Yes. So Really, um, Playa Neo is it's a very good tool uh, for maritime. Uh, as you can see in this picture, it's uh, it's very easy uh, automatically or by hand by interpretation uh, to 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 count uh, the the number of containers. Uh, the typical uh, maritime application. We have already said it, but a, a neat tool to to do the mapping, the bathymetric mapping, but also the cost the coastline mapping. But but we we can also uh, work for the environment uh, and monitoring uh, surveillance. We you can see in, in this picture that you can see everything uh, on the coast and it's easy. Maybe not so easy, but you can have you can have a look to the pollution and it will be demonstrated later on in the other in the other presentation. So. That's about it. Yes, and uh, today, Laurent and I, uh, we have a good news for you. Uh, the good news is that everything we've just shown and presented is uh, easily and quickly available for you. 
with uh, just you uh, at the command of the satellites. So when Atlas or digital platform and all the satellites are connected uh, on the cloud, and thanks to One Atlas, you can directly um, uh, test the satellites or download some archive imagery. It's like uh, on YouTube uh, to give you an idea. And uh, One Atlas is available at uh, everywhere in the world, uh, and uh, it's very uh, easily accessible. So I think yes, I think we are done. I mean, we are we are, we are already late. So I hope that uh, you enjoy the show. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline. <laughs> and, and so just uh, to wrap up a little bit on the specificities of Player Neo, four satellites, two million square kilometers a day, uh, an easy tasking, uh, real re almost uh, real time, fully digital on the satellite connected to the cloud. You can access very easily to the images through API and 30 centimeters, you can see the details and the accuracy. I think we're done. Yes, let's connect it in 2022 because we will have a, a lot to talk and a lot to, to say and maybe just to conclude this uh, small quiz. So maybe you will be able to, to count the number of uh, boats in this Pleiades Neo image and you can write uh, your answer directly on the chat. So thanks a lot and uh, thanks you always on this and thanks for all. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.